Hello scholars, we are back once again and here we are taking a trip to the discount furniture store. So let's look at this. At the discount furniture store, Chris offered a salesperson $600 for a couch and a chair. The offer includes a 8% sales tax. If the salesperson accepts the offer, what would be the price of the furniture to the nearest dollar before tax? Alright, so an easy way to set this up is um, Basically, we don't know the price before tax, right? That's what we have to find out. So let's just label it X equals price before tax. Okay. So price after tax, you know, would just be X, the price, plus the tax. So 8% converts to 0.08. Right? So this would be our original price. This would be our tax added on to it. And when you add that together, that'll give us $600. Okay, so just a little review of the distributed property here. So if we look at this, we see X is being multiplied by, you know, this is kind of a hidden coefficient, right? 1X is the same as X. But we have X multiplied by 1 and X multiplied by 1.08. So what you could do is you could do your distributed property, say, gee, this is the same as x times 1 plus x times 0.08, right? So this is the same thing, okay? And we know that, you know, you could just add up what's in parentheses and we could simplify this to x times 1.08 equals $600. And to solve, you know, you just divide by whatever the coefficient is. So we can make that left-hand term just 1x. So we divide 600 by 1.08. And let's see what we get. 600 divided by 1.08. And that gives us 555.5 repeating. Now over here, okay, we don't see any terms, you know, with the, uh, a decimal point, you know, to the tenths. So we have to see, all right, if it rounds to the nearest dollar, what would this round to? Because this is five or higher, this would become 556. So this just rounds to 556, right? And there's our answer.